Hello guys, so today's question is orderly queue. You are given a string s and an integer k. You can choose one of the first k letters of s and append it at the end of the string. Return the lexographically smallest string you could, you could have after applying the mentioned step any number of moves. Okay, I hope you have understood the question. So when k equals to 1, it is a very uh, trivial case. We will see what are all the strings that we can generate. The first string is of course CBA that is the original string the second string is BAC how if we remove C then we can obtain BA and removing C is the only possibility we have because K equals to 1 so we can remove the first K letters and the first K letters is C only so the possibility is limited to C only uh, now we have BAC and if we again apply the operation the string that we obtain is a c b and uh, this is the lexographically smallest string that we can obtain a c b one more thing to note here is that if we again apply the operation then the string that we will obtain is c b a we have obtained the original string now this is the string that we have obtained after applying the operation thrice so we see that if the applied operation number equals to N, and where n is the length of the original string we will get the original string so it is a very trivial case we will directly talk about when k equals to 1 when k equals to 1 it says that we can choose at least first two characters and remove any one of them and append it at the end suppose i remove l and append it at the end so because of this thing we can say that we can always swap adjacent characters how i want to swap op okay i want to swap op so first uh, operation and i will remove k and i will append k to the end then i will remove c and i will append c to the end so suppose this is the string and i apply the operation on this part and I remove this part and uh, I have OPL after this I can obtain this string how can I obtain this string first I remove K and then I place K then I remove C I place C here then I remove K I place K then I remove W I place W So this is a string that we obtained and it is an intermediate string we have to apply more operations and now since we have to swap o and p we will first uh, remove p and append it at the end of the string we uh, okay so this is a string that we obtain after doing this now we will remove o and append it at the end of the string P O. Now you can see that the order of O P has re reversed and the order has become P O. Now we will remove this L and append it at the end of the string. And this is the string that we have obtained. So we can always see that we swap adjacent characters. We can always swap adjacent characters. One more example of it is that if we have A B C D and we have to swap C D, then in this operation. Uh, what we can do is we can remove a and append it at the end of the string so the string we have is b c d a then we can remove b the string we have is c d a b then since we have to reverse the order of c and d in this uh, like initially it was c and d and uh, here also it is c and d but we want to swap them if we want to swap them then the order will be reversed d will come first and c will come second so that's uh, that's why i remove d first and since uh, i remove d first the string that we obtain is a b d now we remove c now we remove c and this is the string that we obtain so now you can see that the order of c and d has re reversed so one thing we can always swap adjacent uh, letters now can you think of an uh, can you think of any sorting algorithm that uh, 
revolves around uh, swapping of adjacent characters or adjacent elements uh, it is bubble sort it is bubble sort suppose this is the string and we want to apply bubble sort on it a string can also be treated as an array of characters of course so i want to apply bubble sort on it okay so the string is 9 2 1 4 8 3 0 now we know that the outer loop runs for n minus 1 time and the, this is the logic of inner loop in case we want to sort it in ascending order now suppose when i equals to 0 we have fixed our i and we are iterating in this loop we are currently in the jth loop so the initial string is this this initial string and we have j equals to 0 when j equals to 0 the current element is compared with the next element says is the current element greater than the next element so it says yes the current element is greater than the next element so swap them 2 9 1 4 8 3 0 we have swapped them now when we are at j equals to 1, current element at the position j is 9. Is the current element which is equals to 9 greater than the next element which is equals to 1? Yes. The current element is greater than the next element. So swap them. So 2, 1, 9, 2, 9, 4, 8, 3, 0. This is how we apply the bubble sort. Can we obtain these similar operations using this operation? choose one of the first k letters of s and end it at the end of the string so let's see if we can get the similar results using this operation so suppose my string is this and i'm applying bubble sort on it now suppose i equals to zero i have fixed i equals to zero and we are in the jth loop or in the inner loop so initial string is this 9214830 now in bubble sort what happened was that 9 comma 2 9 2 was swapped and the string that we obtained was 2914830 now we want to obtain this string using the operations that are given this using this operation suppose this is the string now we want to swap 9 comma 2 okay so i will first remove 2 and append it at the end of the string i will first remove 2 and append it at the end of the string now i will remove 9 and append it at the end of the string so this, this is the string we have obtained now we will reorder it since k is greater than 1 we are talking about the case when k is greater than 1 now we, we can take character one by one and we can place them at the end so, this character is removed and it is placed at the end now this character is removed character is removed and it is placed at the end and similarly remove these three characters and place them at the end okay so now see what we have obtained this string and we have obtained this string are they not similar they're exactly the same now when j in bubble sort when j is equals to 1 and i is equals to 0 we compare this with this and as a result of comparison it is decided that both of them should be swapped so we swap them in the in j equals to i iteration we swap them 
and when we reach j equals to 2 this is the initial string that we have or this is the initial array of characters that we have so can we obtain this string from this string using the this operation that's my question yes we can now suppose we have this string and we have to swap we have to swap 9 comma 1 now we have to swap 9 comma 1 now how will we do it this is the original this is the initial string now we will remove 2 and append it at the end of the string now we have to swap them or we have to interchange their order now we will first remove a uh, one and add it to the end of the string now i have removed one and i will be placing it at the end of the string one now i will be removing nine and placing it at the end of the string so after we have nine now wanted two one nine four eight three zero we have two is the starting point one nine is correct now after this four three eight zero is in order four three eight zero is in order we will remove we will remove them one by one uh, four is removed then eight is removed then three is removed then zero is removed and we place them at the end of this string here i am doing it directly but you have to do it step by step i mean this so you can see that we have obtained this string after using the operations that we were asked to do and uh, this is the string that we have obtained after applying bubble sort so we can see that we can exact we can apply bubble sort if k is greater than 2 so this is the proof of it that we can apply the bubble sort accident a few days back i had solved this question and uh, uh, this is what I wrote at that time. I will be providing it in the description. Let's see the solution now. Wait. Yeah. So if k equals to equals to 1, in this we cannot swap adjacent characters. We cannot swap adjacent characters. So we will we will be considering we will be considering every possibility and when and we will just directly return the result. What I am doing here is that I've taken a big string s comma s. Suppose our s was suppose uh, a b c d. Our s was a b c d. So I append another a b c d to it. And uh, we can uh, will consider a window of size 4 because uh, the original string size was 4. So either our string can be A, B, C, D or it can be B, C, D, A or it can be C, D, A, B or it can be D, A, B, C or it can be A, B, C, D again. And uh, in result, we will be uh, storing graphically smaller string. And if k is greater than 1, then we will be directly uh, sorting the string. 